Hi, and welcome to CCDTV News. I'm your host, Bruce La Cruz, here to give you the latest updates on your school and your community. On April 23rd, the Cambridge Fountain campus was buzzing with excitement as the Tech Showcase had student projects from over 20 programs on display for friends, faculty, and judges to see. Featuring students from the School of Engineering Technology and the School of Applied Computer Science and Information Technology, this event showcased the best in program final term student projects that each school had to offer. With the big prize being the Mastercraft Award, judges visited each project during the showcase to listen to the students present their work and ask questions. The top project is chosen for the Mastercraft Award based on four criteria. First impression, quality, skills, and creativity. Justin Chan, Garrett Hoyer, Rahala Nori, Ikaro Ryan Souza, and Lazir Pasquale, students in the Software Engineering Technology Program, were awarded top honor for their project, Tracker FC, an innovative soccer analytics tool that brings advanced game analysis capabilities directly to coaches and teams. The team will be formally recognized with the Mastercraft Award at the June Convocation, which includes a monetary prize and the Conestoga Coat of Arms. Conestoga's Mastercraft Award was established by past college president Kenneth E. Hunter in 1980 to recognize student achievement of excellence in program-related skills. Tony Toma, Executive Dean of the Schools of Engineering Technology and Trades Apprenticeship, commented on the importance of competitions like these, saying that, Competitions such as the Tech Showcase highlight the students' cumulative knowledge, hands-on skills, and their soft people skills. It is a perfect way of differentiating our graduates to the marketplace, making them more productive sooner in their careers. One of our employer partners once commented that they can put our graduates in front of the customers so much sooner than graduates from other institutions. These projects also add to the graduates' learning portfolio, which they can use in job interviews. If you or someone you know is interested in a program in the School of Engineering Technology or the School of Applied Computer Science and Information Technology, visit their web pages at the Conestoga College website at conestogac.on.ca. The City of Brantford is breathing new life into four multi-use courts. Roswell Park, Orchard Park, Princess Anne Park, and City View Park's multi-use courts will all be receiving improvements which include reorienting the courts, replacing basketball nets, and adding new lines for both basketball and pickleball, with two new pickleball courts being added. Additionally, fencing at some locations will be removed. Construction has begun and residents can expect temporary disruptions as these facilities undergo improvements. For any other questions or information, residents are encouraged to contact the City of Brantford Customer Service phone line at 519-759-4150 or visit the City of Brantford website at brantford.ca for more details. Have you ever heard the old saying, one person's junk is another person's treasure? Well, this weekend, the City of Guelph is taking that saying to a whole other level. If you've been looking to get rid of some unused items around the house, Guelph Goods Exchange Weekend will be happening from May 17th to May 20th, between the hours of 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Now's your chance to save some of your unused items from going to the landfill and find new homes for them for people who might find another use for them. Instructions are as follows. Clearly label items you wish to give away as free and place them at the curb after 5 p.m. on Friday. Move bikes, toys, and gardening tools away from the curb to prevent misunderstandings. Over the weekend, tour your neighborhood to see what great deals you can find at the curb. All leftover items must be removed from the curb by 7 p.m. on Monday. Large items left at the curb may be subject to fines or fees under Guelph's Waste Management Bylaw. If you have any questions about Guelph's Goods Exchange Weekend, please visit the City of Guelph website at guelph.ca. As the City of Cambridge prepares to celebrate Canada's 157th birthday, a little help from the federal government has arrived to make it happen. That's right, folks. Cambridge Member of Parliament Brian May announced in a press release that $15,000 has been given to the Cambridge Celebrates Canada Day Committee under the Celebrate Canada Funding Program, a federal fund that supports different organizations that celebrate national holidays, including Canada Day. 
May expresses his excitement for Cambridge's Canada Day celebration in the press release saying that, This investment is helping organizations across the country commemorate Canada's 157th year, and I'm proud this government is recognizing the amazing work being done by Cambridge Celebrates Canada Day. And I'm looking forward to seeing the turnout on King Street and at Riverside Park. This year's event will include a parade down King Street, activities and music in Riverside Park, and a fireworks display that draws spectators from across Waterloo Region and beyond. In the press release, co-chair of the Cambridge Celebrates Canada Day Committee, Deanna Norris, commented that, It is an honor to be part of such an historic celebration of all things Canadian, and as a volunteer-run organizing committee, we rely on funding from Heritage Canada and corporate sponsors to keep the event free to the community. It is a great day for family, friends, and neighbors to gather and celebrate. Additionally, co-chair Heather McGregor said that, I am so proud of the event that we work all year to provide. Cambridge Celebrates Canada Day highlights the inclusion and diversity of Cambridge, and as volunteers, we can't make it happen without our sponsors and the funding from Heritage Canada. For more info on this year's Canada Day celebration, visit cambridgecanadaday.ca. Wellness Wednesdays are back for the spring term here at Conestoga, starting today on May 15th at 11 a.m. and running until 3 p.m. Across multiple campuses, students can buy fresh produce from the affordable produce market, as well as take part in wellness activities which include tarot card readings, yogurt bars, seed paper activities, and live music. Be sure to check it out. CSI and student engagement have teamed up to start this term off with a bang with the spring kickoff event. On Thursday, May 16th at Law 2 on the Dune campus, students are invited to party with their peers and dance the night away to the grooves of DJ Tusik and 25 Roses. With the event running from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., there will also be a beer garden, food trucks, games, inflatables, and roaming performances for students to enjoy. Now this is one event you don't want to miss. This event is free for Conestoga students, so please have your one card ready at the entrance. To sign up for this event and for more info on other events, please visit the CSI events calendar on their website at conestocastudents.com. And that's all the news we have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. You might have seen some of our content on different TVs around campus, but did you know that you can watch us from home? You can find us on Roku TV for a 24-7 live broadcast or find us online at ccdtv.ca. There, you'll find our 24-7 live stream, past episodes of CCD TV News, and other content our channel produces, as well as our social media links. If you have any news tips or have an idea for a production, you can get in touch with us by email at productionservices at conestocac.on.ca. For the rest of the team at CCD TV, I'm Bruce Cruz. See you next time.